The job in the Army is to help guard the bomber to recruit. Uh, we will do everything uh, to make sure the whole, this whole uh, recruitment process will be the easiest and the best fit to each candidate in Tabar. Uh, we will take them the whole process, you know, we recruit them in 90 days. Uh, if any other candidate in the army took him one year and six months to recruit, Garin Tabar members recruit into, uh, in 90 days into the army. The whole process, Tzav Rishon, Yom Mea, Yom Seirot or Yom Seirot if you're like an American and through everything until they, you get the placement and we help them to, to just find their self inside of the army um, in a really, really fast, short but good process. Uh, we're there in each kibbutz. In each kibbutz we have two uh, army soldiers, two mashakiot, Hebrew mashakiot. They teach Hebrew in each kibbutz and help them with the whole uh, army process. Well, I have to say that Garin Tzabar program is really important to the Army because we know that uh, having Garin Tzabar support, you know, family for life is really important for Olim Chadashim that serves in the Army and go back into uh, family, into someone if they're alone soldiers in Israel. And in general, the Army do a lot to help lone soldiers to recruit and find themselves inside of the Army. I think the best thing about Tzabar program is the Mashakiot. I think that every time you walk up in the morning, you have two amazing soldiers, really, really intelligent and highly, with really high skills, just managing your whole life, teaching you Hebrew, helping you with all the bureaucratic system in Israel, getting profiles, uh, seeing doctors and get those documents, and just finishing with this whole process. Uh, and meanwhile, you learn with them Hebrew, which is the most important thing in the Army. Uh, they also help you with the recruitment process. You're not calling Meitav unit specifically, but they are part of Meitav unit and they will give you the answers you need. Uh, a lot of information. I think information is the one thing that sometimes uh, it's a lack in, in the process of some Olim Chadashim and the fact that you have someone to speak with inside of your kibbutz that really lives with you, uh, it's a really good feel. Hebrew, it's extremely important, not just because you want to get a really good positions in the army and find yourself doing important things inside of the army and feel like really that you're giving yourself to, 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 to Israel in general, but if you want to integrate into society and feel apart and make some jokes with your friends, Hebrew, it's extremely important. But also if I give you like something from me as Noam and not just as an officer that recruits Olim Chadashim, I think it would be come with the right vibe. Uh, the army knows how to help people to find the right position for them. And you need to trust the army sometimes and just be the best soldier you can anywhere the army puts you. The army would know how to dig you out and find you the right position inside of those units. Actually, it's my story and I know so many Olim Chadashim that have the exact same story. Start with this one position they didn't even know they're fit or right to do. And the army figured out that it's the best position for them and they just stayed in the army for much more years than they even thought in the beginning. The final message I will give for Olim Chadashim is uh, to speak out. Uh, me, myself, I have some lone soldiers, are my, the, they are my direct soldiers in my office and sometimes they think we know things and they sometimes just don't speak out and tell everything out loud. So go to your commanders, they're really there to support you and they want to give you the best service they can. They can give you and sometimes because of the work it's something they missed. Uh, I know stories and I know that someone in Chadashim keeps in the stomach and hopes something would be better for them. Guys don't wait, go speak with your commander, speak with people around you, find one person you trust inside of the army. If it's outside the army it's okay but believe me when, when I tell you the commanders in the army want the best for you, for all of you, so just speak out and, and ask whatever you need.